now on the switch it will carry the load so it carry it 320 watts from less than from less than uh, 150 watts now with the help of the flywheel the permanent magnet alternator is carrying all the load so when next you are doing your project you make sure you apply the load after allowing the flywheel to sustain its momentum it will carry all the load times two now it has carried it maybe i'll add more load in my next uh, experiment i will add more load so that you will see it so subscribe add your comments below ask questions if you need more information Hello viewers, this is a 100 and it's less than 150 watts. This adapter, AC to DC adapter, the input is 100 to 240 volts at 1.5 amp minimum. Then the output is 48 volts at 3 amp maximum. So I'm taking my supply from this socket my 220 is coming from this socket so i'm using it to power this generator this generator the idea of this generator is to show how flywheel work in this generator you have a flywheel here this is the flywheel these are the coils these are the coils the flywheel is carrying the magnet a 12 pole magnet is there then the the flywheel in the middle of the flywheel is the driving motor this driving motor is a bldc motor it's a bldc motor it runs from 36 volt from 24 volt to 57 volt it runs from so i'm going, I'm going to be supplying it with 48 volt at 3 amps which is less than uh, 150 watts but this uh, this bldc motor is rated for 200 watts can we see there 208 watt this is 208 watt at uh, 1930 rpm so we're going to run it at okay so we're supposed to run it 36 to 57 volt that's the distance so i'm going to run it at 48 volt so 48 volt is going to give me more than 2000 rpm so what i want to show you here is how to apply flywheel in your setup once you have your permanent magnet alternator and you have flywheel sometimes you walk 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 and you don't know what is wrong with it so now i'm going to show you free of charge how to use your flywheel so you may set up your flywheel in another way so here i'm setting it up horizontally does that does not mean it can be vertical if it is vertical it's the same thing if it is driving uh a separate a permanent magnet alternator it's the same thing so this is just to demonstrate how to use uh flywheel effectively so the flywheel diameter is around the uh, eight uh, inches so but the width the whole width is at the rim it's at the rim here so now we are going to turn on the power so that we see the supply we see the voltage supplied uh, on the output here these are the outputs of the cc alternator so let's on the this thing Just on it.
just connected a 60 watt uh, incandescent lamp so let's go and on it and see the output so that it can carry that 60 amp 150 around 150 watts So now I connected a, a two sixty watts bulb, which is one hundred twenty watts. Now let's go and on. Let's see if we can hold it. I think it's on. Yeah, it's on. It's blowing. Blowing on. Carry it. But it's slowing down, it's going up, it will not carry it, it's going up. It went up, this is where the problem is. We, this is where we always have the problem. The way to apply the plywood to carry the load. It will, start, it will try again. That's the nature of this uh, BLDC motor. It will try again. It's trying it again. It could not sustain it. So now let's go and up it and try something else. Okay. Now the bulb is still uh, the same, 120 watts. What I have done is uh, I added a switch so I can off and on it. So let's see. Now it's still the same setup. I'm putting it on. I put it on. So what will happen is I'm going to allow it to run. When it has run and sustained the momentum, I will now switch on the bulb and see if it will repeat what it just does. See? Let me hold the, the generator. It's moving. It's vibrating. So now I want to on the bulb and see if it will sustain it. I on the bulb now. Now the generator is not going off. So what this means is that I have allowed the flywheel to sustain its momentum. Once the momentum is sustained, so it can carry the load. Now we are going to add more load to buttress our points. We are going to add more load. So please, if you find this uh, video useful, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. See, we have to share and help one another. Don't hide this information. Use it to help your brother. Now, I'm giving it free of charge. So just all you need to do is to subscribe. If you have any comments, type it below. Now we're going to add one more bulb. We're going to add, this is 120 watts, but our supply is uh, 100, uh, around 148 watts. We want to double that supply, so I'm going to add a 200 watt bulb to make it 320 watts and see if it can sustain it under this condition with the switch. If I release the switch now, it will go up. The light goes up. The generator is on. So the next stage now is to add more load. So now we have a 200 watt bulb here. Don't know if it is visible. Can it be visible? Okay. 200 watts. Is it visible? Okay. That's 200 watts there. You can see it here. 200 watts. This is 60 watts. And this is 60 watts. So all together, 220 watts. Let's see if using this flywheel with this switch 
and uh, allowing the flywheel to sustain its momentum before we on the before we apply the load. Let us see if it will carry more load. Now we are putting it on. I put in I on it already. Thank you. 